All right, man, talk to talk. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Happy Thanksgiving to you. You know what I'm saying? To ya. Good morning for all those that celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving for all y'all that, that don't celebrate but try to sneak a plate. Don't be doing that. You don't celebrate, you ain't getting none. No. You don't celebrate, you ain't getting none. Now nah, you can have some. But look, so today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Joe Buttons calling out Drake. And a lot of people are online. This clip has went viral. It's everywhere. And I believe that this is the end of Drake. And Joe Buttons put it so perfectly. And we're going to listen to that and all that good stuff. Before I get into that, you know, I got to give my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, Cash App is in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000. Subscribers about to be 13,000. Thank you very much for everybody that's sticking with me. I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> I am the king of the north. Let me know what kingdom you from. You know what I'm saying? If you from the kingdom of Uganda, if you're from the kingdom of Dominican Republic, if you are from the kingdom of Chile, let me know. So let's get into this clip, man. Enough talking. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Make y'all show y'all get y'all some good food, man. All right, man. So this comes courtesy of Never Give Up. Let's get it, man. Let's go. <laughs> you have been behind the scenes hitting baby moms, sending money to baby. Yo, dog, you've been back and sending messages to this wife. Drake. Now, this the moment we all been waiting for. Uh I already know what's coming. I know Joe about to show his behind on this topic. Now, here's the thing. The reason why this is important and why, why what Joe is saying is important is because Joe is going to say what everybody is afraid to say. He's going to say what everybody is afraid to say. And it's the truth. So let's listen, man. This is going to be glorious. Let's hear what Joe Button, the number one stand for Kendrick Lamar, oh, yeah, has to say stop. about. Nah, bro. You can't do that. You can't do that, bro. You can't, you can't try to minimize the truth. You can't minimize the truth, bro. You can't say Joe Buttons is a stand for Kendrick Lamar. Because he literally, literally was giving Drake more props than he deserved. Even when he didn't like Drake. He was saying he don't care if Drake has a ghostwriter that does not do anything for him. As long as he still does music. I would even go as far as saying he probably liked Drake more than, uh, than Kendrick. So don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Don't Because you a Drake fan, don't be out here being disingenuous and saying stuff like that. That's not cool. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's not cool, bro. Drake suing UMG over Not Like Us. Just like the video and subscribe. Just just at least do that for me, because y'all know he about to go crazy. Let's get it. He's a selfish, lying, manipulative sack of shit who has made enemies for 15 years and now we're here at the fucking boiling point. They both could be true. You've been behind the scenes yep. being the biggest sack of shit you can possibly be. I'm not here to fucking play games with you niggas. Niggas know what it is out there. That's it. And he's, and he's fucking white. <laughs> and he's Jewish. And he had too much dip on his chip. You have been behind oh the scenes. God, bro. <laughs> Whoa, him saying that, 
Bro, it's going to send shockwaves through the industry, bro. Because he's telling the truth. Drake has, I've been saying that on this channel forever. <laughs> he's been a doodle ball. I've been saying that about this dude forever. I keep telling y'all. He's a slimy dude. He's always been a slimy dude. And now y'all want to be sympathetic for this dude. Y'all want to feel like everybody has to be sympathetic towards him. Hell no. Hell no. He's been a dirty dude. Why y'all just can't accept it? This dude has been dirty. He's been dirty for a long time. He was your niggas girls and their wives. You're hollering at dude's wives, bro. How, how y'all defending this? I don't understand it, bro. He's been a dirty nigga for a long time. And all of us, if there was anybody else, y'all would have not had gave them a pass. For for some reason, when it's him, it's okay. It's all right. I don't understand this. He the same dude that walked into the culture and no one said anything. Just let him start doing whatever he wanted to do. Disrespecting people, saying crazy things, and then got a nerve to say that Kendrick defamed him and said some egregious things about his character. But you've been doing this the whole time. You did it to Kanye. You did it to, uh, you did it, you called out, what's the name, wife? Pusha T? You did it to all these people. You always talking crazy on everybody else, but when it happens to you, all of a sudden now you crying about it. Means hitting baby moms, sending money to baby. Yo, dog, you've been back and sending messages to this wife, uh, talking shit about fucking, hey, but this mom died. Hey, all that's cool, but where my beat at, nigga? I don't give a fuck that your mom died. Dog, this has been a sack of shit behind the scenes. And because he got fans and had Lucian, everybody just get to turn a blind eye. The blind eye days are done. That's done with now. I don't want to hear none of that shit now. Now, we've seen the hand, you've seen their hand. What's it going to be and what are you going to do? I don't remember him having a singleton's God's plan. With legs. With a plan. He Bro, I've been saying this, bro. I've been telling y'all the same thing on this channel, bro. I've been saying the same thing. This dude has not had nothing since then. But for some reason, y'all still trying to put him on this pedestal, bro. He's been doing, bro, you tell a dude, I don't care if your mom died, where my beat at? How you tell somebody something like that, bro? Y'all cool with that? Like, come on, bro. Y'all, listen. All you fans gotta, y'all have to at least admit that he be doing some dirty things. And y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop acting as if it's cool for him to do these things. I don't understand it. I really don't. It looked so fucking hip hop to me in a long time, which is the entire point that Kendra keeps saying. Yeah, no, it's just coming to a head now. So now it just look different because of the Lucian and because of the lawsuits that we yeah, about got, to get to. Yes. That we about to get to. But this nigga has been a piece of shit, and too many people have seen it. There's a list of billionaires that hate him now. We ain't talking about all these little rapper niggas you was dealing with, and it's too late because all of the music industry people get word early. True. So they moved to the tech side. <laughs> They don't care about none of this ghetto garbage hooting any. <laughs> they seen where the money was circulating and now they have gigs over there. Shout to Nas and all the other artists that have seen what it is and went to create over there now. It's you that stayed in the game for too long. They don't care about nothing that he built his house on, which is I got all the hits. I got the number ones. I have the run, my album. Yo, we made that. And your best music, we gonna run that up. Go make your mid. <laughs> Go make your mid. We gonna put all them albums that we own, your fire shit, that same little uh, algorithm trick you think we doing, we still doing it. Deluxe, deluxe. Yeah, Five yeah, year we, anniversary. We got year anniversary. Hey, 20 have a blast year anniversary. with whatever honestly never mind did. <laughs> Here's the thing, too. Um... 
this this all of this culminates from Drake's what Drake has done throughout his career. And I'm going to say this again because a lot of y'all are not paying attention. Nobody f- with Drake. Nobody. You see anybody trying to do singles with him? Besides, I'm talking about people that are known in the game that are, are, are hot or have something going on. Even the people that are really not hot like that don't have don't really have nothing to do with him. Who do you see trying to do music with him? Do y'all realize that nobody, nobody's dealing with this dude? Nobody. He got what? Party next door, big. That's because that's his artist. But outside of that, who's really doing anything with him? Even even 21 Savage and all of them, like, oh, uh, Young Thug, like, oh, let's make some music together. But did anything come out? Did anything come out? This is what I'm saying. It's like, what's really going on here? Y'all don't want, y'all want to ignore that part. And then try to act as if he's like, he's like, oh, he's Thanos. He's going against everybody. Oh, he's, he's going against the machine. No, he's not. No, he's not. Drake was a part of the machine. He's not going against nothing. Nothing at all. This, this is what he gets. Have fun with that. The label must ain't been too thrilled because that shit came and went too. At some point... You got to have something that stay, and they not going to let nothing stay. What do you think is going to happen with the Drake Party Next Door album now that he's got these suits out? Uh, Brick? Mm. Cricket, cricket, cricket. That's what I mean about him. That's what I mean about him. That Party somewhere thinking that this is the best opportunity that ever happened to me. Wow, thank God this is happening. Nigga, that should have happened in 2014 right after, if you're reading this, it's too late. Right after that, that's when that should have happened. Now... It's too late, and you're only doing it, again, for your selfish, greedy fucking reasons. That ain't about to help him. That's about to hurt him. Now it's about to get to a point, anybody that stand with Drake, the high-ups is just looking. Stand there if you want. It's over. I'm telling y'all, bro. That's exactly what it is. Whoever stands with this dude, nobody's going to want to deal with him. Y'all notice that nobody's dealing with this dude. And it had this started before Kendrick. I want y'all to understand that this started before Kendrick because it was, it was, if you look at his last album, he had a couple people on there, but a lot of the people on there, they don't really mess with him no more. Who's sexy red. Come on, bro. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, J Cole. Outside of that, what? Come on, bro. Like, let's be serious here. What's going on? A clear cut message. Yo, it's over. And Drake knows it. So I'm not arguing with nobody now. He, these suits say he knows what time it is. Mm Mm-hmm. But if y'all think the Karen in him don't want to sue Kendrick himself but isn't that the directly, then I don't know what, what game you're looking at. If he is sued. I don't care if they, if they said, hey, go sue him. Guess what? That's jargon to you now. For me, that says even, even, even they lying to you different than they normally would. Go. They, they they're not going to sue they not going to jump on that suit if Drake sues Kendrick. They've anointed Kendrick. <laughs> you are going to take us to the next stratosphere. We're not jeopardizing that. It's the field versus you. It's over for you. They're just saying it's over for you. This fall off is monumental. Odell ain't called that nigga in years. <laughs> that really is over now, that relationship. Odell is out. You guys ring. He's not talking to you anymore. And I feel Drake, yo. I feel Drake, yo. How you feeling, but then you kicking his back in? No, I'm not kicking confused. his back in. I'm yeah. telling the truth. I, 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 I hate when people do that. Like, I mean, it's on two sides. Like, I don't like, I don't like when, uh, when people say, well, how you do this? And if you're telling the truth, it's the truth. If, 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 if I'm your friend, I should be able to tell you. Well, I'm not saying they're friends, but if I'm your friend and you do some fuck shit, I should be able to say, yo, dog, you you do you be doing some fuck shit, bro. You cheating on your girl, bro, and your girl good to you, and you've been doing this, and she been good to you this whole time, and she loves you and you lying to her, and you going around, and then you 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 got this STD. Anything. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. You should be able to tell people the truth. So I don't think that that Joe is kicking his back in if he's saying the truth. He's telling the truth. Yeah, if he was lying, that to me, that's different. No, well, the truth is for ten years on this podcast in February, I've had to sit here 
tight lip because everybody's stupid. No. No, man. I'm not doing that anymore. But we, I don't need I don't need YouTube. I don't need hot takes. Mm-hmm. I don't need I'm one of the few people that could look at this and just know what time it is. Play with them. Them. <laughs> don't play with me. I feel Drake because he has he has fair and valid points in some of this shit, yo. I've showed up for too many of y'all. That DeMar DeRozan shit is still in effect. Yo, you was in my house. I talked you off out of depression. Future, thug, weekend. Nigga, I found you on the fucking street, you piece of shit. They looking at, he looking at niggas like I look at bleep. <laughs> <laughs> he done helped too many people. So now he's watching since not like us or bot like us, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Since that, I'm seeing the tides turn in ways from places that I never expected it to. And it's up for all of you. Mm -hmm. It's up for all of you. And I'm with that. I'm with that willfulness and that conviction and that determination. I'm with all of that. I just don't think that he wins it because of the timing of this. You know, today, I, I do have one rebuttal, but I am going to play the role of the student. I understand that Joe Budden has more access to information than I do. He's been in the industry, and he knows more than me. And sometimes you got to be a man and say, I don't know everything, and I don't have the answers. If Joe is saying that Drake has done a lot of nasty things to a lot of people in the industry behind closed doors, I'm not in a position to refute that. Okay, so, I, and I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But the thing is, it's not that it's not just Joe. And I'm sure that, uh, obviously, you're pretty intelligent. You should know that it's a lot of people who said these things. It's people who said these things on record. It's people who said a lot of this stuff. It's not just Joe. He did it to Joe. He did it to a lot of people. He did it to Little Wayne. Like, this dude's been playing dirty for a long time. And it's just that a lot of people chalked it up and they didn't say anything, but they just let it go. But some people, they hold on to it. And I'm telling you, I understand what you're saying, but I think Joe waited for his time to really put it out there and say these things because a lot of this stuff happened. Now, I don't understand why Joe would have any type of communication or relationship with Drake at this point because Drake Drake totally disrespect Joe a couple of times and said things about Joe a couple of times. So I just don't get why Joe acts as acts as, act as if he has to defend Drake sometimes. But again, if you're if you're defending the truth, then you can't really tell people they can't defend somebody. Me personally, I don't care if it's the truth or not. If you disrespect me, I ain't defending you at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing that game. I'm not in a position to tell y'all the other half of what people don't understand and the parts that they don't see and Drake helped this person. Like, I can only tell you, yeah, from my perspective... I've seen Drake help a lot of people, put a lot of people on, but I've but, always... But he, okay, and, and I get that, but at the same time, you have to ask yourself, is it really him putting people on or is it for him? Because I don't know I don't know if you know Drake personally. I don't either, but I only could go by what I see. And I know people saying behind the scenes he helped people and all this stuff. Yeah, okay, he might. But he also do some two things could be right at the same time, bro. He also could be a dirty dude. He could say, I'll help you. But then tomorrow I could do this person dirty. It, it, there's people out there like that all the time. And then you got to ask yourself, what type of help are we talking about? Putting somebody on ain't help if you putting them on to, to get to. Because if that's the case, then why party next door? Why he ain't blow up? Why he ain't really push him? You know what I'm saying? Like why he why this didn't really happen? So. It's told y'all that celebrities, rappers, entertainers, anybody with clout, fame, presidents, mayors, y'all see that guy in Africa. He was some kind of politician and he, he got all of these sex tapes with everybody's wives. When people get power, 
they tend to abuse that power. And so I'm not going to sit here and say I'm so naive to think that Drake made it to billionaire status. And Michael Jackson, I mean, he broke the Beatles records and Michael Jackson records and all. Like, he did it all in music. And I'm going to sit here and tell y'all, oh, he's a perfect person. He's the best guy in the world. And yes, I'm sure over his career, he has a number of enemies. And yeah, I'm sure he... He don't just have a number of enemies over his career. We're talking about people that are really... Even if they're not his enemies, nobody wants to deal with this dude. They all going this way or that way. That's what I think a lot of y'all not acknowledging. Y'all y'all talking about it, but y'all ain't acknowledging that nobody wants to mess with. He's the, if Drake is the biggest artist in the world, how come nobody want to work with him? Like, why is, wh wh what's going on here? That's all I'm saying. But let's let it play a little bit more. Probably did think I can do whatever the fuck I want because I'm Drake. You know, y'all can't do anything to me. I'm untouchable. Y'all need me. And just listening to Joe, it does have me thinking, wow, is it really over for Drake? But we also got to understand what is over for Drake. Like, if Drake starts selling... 300,000 first week instead of 600,000 or close to a million. Is that the crazy fall off we expecting? Here's the thing. See, when you're a multi, that, there's a lot of people got to understand. When you, when you are a multi, let's say you're a multi-million dollar artist and you basically are, like Drake's one of the biggest artists in the world. If Drake was to come out and his album only sells 150 to 200,000 copies, that's a flop for him. Even though for most artists, that's not a flop. That's a flop for him because his overhead or whatever he got to pay for or whatever he did to get to that point. Now, if Drake, let's say, let's say Drake did an album and he used a producer that was no name and he only paid him 50 grand and he, and he sold his album, sold 200,000 copies. That's different. You know what I'm saying? But, he also, you also got to understand that whoever is a part of that album, they're getting paid, everybody. And he's probably going to go for the top notch, top quality, top everything. You know what I'm saying? So him him getting 200,000 copies is not the same as another artist getting 200,000 copies. It's not the same. And you also got to understand when people look at that, they people are, are numbers driven. So if they see Drake only doing 200,000 copies, they're going to say he fell off. And then guess what? The next album, he do 100 or maybe whatever, they're going to say he fell off. Now, don't get me wrong. Drake still has, the, he still has the potential to still sell albums because his name is still synonymous. But what y'all do have to understand is at this point in his career, nobody cares no more about him. So, and I was telling my boy this earlier. Matter of fact, I'm going to end this right. I'm going to let him play a little more, then I'm going to end this. Even when he says, what you think going to happen with this Party Next Door album because of these lawsuits? If this album doesn't do so well, Drake will have a scapegoat to say, you know, look, it's an R&B album with Party Next Door. You'll have some Drake fans blaming Party Next Door and saying, well, Party ain't so hot right now. If he would have did an album with Future, it might have been more successful. Now I will say that that's true. What you what he's saying is absolutely true, um, and I don't want to watch his whole video because I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all uh, what is it? I'm gonna let y'all go to his channel, uh, Never Give Up, and fi finish watching the rest. I don't want to uh, watch his whole video. See, here's the thing. At this point in Drake's career, he could go either one or two ways. He could actually. It, I think he honestly, and I said this before, he needs to just have a seat. Just sit back and chill. Let this whole thing play out. You just lost, just say you lost. Or you could just go back to just making music. That's it. Now, he's saying it's his whole party album coming out. It was supposed to come out in December. Now, I don't know. He said it, he was saying it's 70% done or something like that. I... I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think he has the ambition to make anything good again. 
And what I mean by that is, I don't think that Drake really wants to do music no more. I really think he just wants to coast and, and live and live and you know and do what he do and coast into the sunset. Because you battled Kendrick. Basically, what Kendrick did to you, he put you on your ass. You could have kept going. But you decided not to because you said he got it burnt out. You said you're going on vacation. But then you waited for a couple of weeks. And then you dropped a, you try to sneak your songs out that you, so your record label wouldn't know. You leaked your own songs. And what happened when you leaked your own songs? what they do? what the record label do? They blocked them. So, and I said this in my, in my other video. Drake doesn't have a problem. I mean, obviously, he hates Kendrick. He doesn't have, he has a problem with Kendrick. But his, his biggest thing is he got into a deal and he didn't know that this deal was going to affect him this badly. That's what really happened. And what Joe was saying the whole time in his video, he is 100% correct. You do dirt, you get dirt. That's what happens. You got to understand. You do dirt, you get dirt. That's it. There's nothing you can say. Everything that you did to people is coming back. I remember I was saying that. All of these landmines he set, and now he's running back through the field and forgot where he, where he set them at, and they all blowing up in his face. He ain't got nobody to blame but himself. Can't blame nobody. You can't blame Joe. You can't blame Kendrick. You can't blame Pusha T. You can't blame Common. You was disrespecting everybody. You disrespected Common. You disrespected Serena Williams. You disrespected Jay-Z. You disrespected Beyonce. You disrespected uh, uh, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian. You disrespected Joe Buttons. You, bis you disrespected Whitney. You disrespected uh, Dave Free. You disrespected uh, Fer Pharrell. You disrespected uh, Rick Ross. You disrespected whoever uh, woman... Uh, that you were trying to sleep with. You disrespected little Wayne. You disrespect, bro, you did so much. You did so much. Pusha T's wife. Pusha T. You've been doing dirt to people for a long time. And now it's your turn to get what you asked for. That's it. That's it, bro. And you still disrespecting people. So I don't know what to say. But either way, it's over, bro. I'm telling you, it's over. Y'all have yourself a good, good Thanksgiving, man. Love y'all. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Go eat some turkey, man. Eat some turkey wings. Go eat that dry ass. All right, man. Peace.